Hello everyone, this is Younes, the founder of The Forge, a uh, virtual tabletop platform for hosting your Foundry VTT games. And I'm here to share with you a new exciting feature um, that we've released uh, recently. So we're looking at the bazaar right now, which is your repository of uh, all the various modules, uh, systems and worlds, um, most of them community provided, um, some of them from our own marketplace. Um, we are the only marketplace right now for Foundry vir Virtual Tabletop um, content. So uh, worlds, modules, systems, and asset packs. Um, and we are releasing uh, as a beta service at the moment, um, access to a D&D Beyond integration for content imports. Um, so the first thing uh, you need to read will be this uh, portion of the text, which explains that this is a beta. Um, it's not uh, currently a stable or complete feature, um, which is why it's a early access to my patrons. And um, you can click here to get to the forum post, which uh, explains a little bit about how to enable the feature and what you can expect at this stage uh, from our integration. And um, once you link your Patreon with uh, the Forge, you can then um, start importing your content. And the first task will be to um, refresh the list of content available on D&D Beyond. So by clicking here and accepting, you basically um, give authorization to the Forge to download that um, content from D&D Beyond on your behalf and uploading it to your uh, local um, assets and game data storage. So I've done that and we can see the list of content um, that is available from D&D uh, Beyond. You can click to get a little bit more information uh, about all the um, all the content there. There's Candle Keeps Mystery. I just played that recently. It was a lot of fun. All right, um, so we have rule books and we have adventures. So the first thing I want to import is going to be the Forge of Fury because that makes sense, right? So when you do that, it opens a window to D&D Beyond and asks you to authorize the Forge to validate your D&D Beyond purchase for the Forge of Fury, download on your behalf and transfer the content of this source material to the Forge to your Forge account. So once you give your authorization, then you can download and convert either as a world or as a module, um, the source book directly from d, d Beyond. So we are just doing that right now for um, the Forge of Fury. So you can see it's really fast because it's a rather small content and it downloaded it. There you go, it's done. Uh, so we're going to do the same now with, um, let me see, let's do the basic rules. Okay, um, first I'm just going to open another tab here. So we're going to do the same with basic rules and we're going to also convert it as a world. It should be a module, so basically a compendium, um, but a world is just going to be a lot easier for us in this video to show you um, how the conversion uh, worked. So um, it downloads the content from D&D Beyond, and then it's going to upload it to your assets library as well as your game data, and then convert that data from uh, the D&D Beyond um, format, uh, the HTML and all that, into a uh, usable uh, Foundry world. So you can see the Forge of Fury here, you have your maps, uh, spoiler alert, obviously, um, and you have some monsters. Um, you can see your monsters with their uh, with their attributes. Um, those are the monsters that are specific to this um, to this uh, adventure. Then there's my Forge of Fury. There's my uh, journals. And there you go. I have all the information right here. Okay. Um, let's go back, reload. I'm guessing the basic rules. Yes, the basic rules have finished converting. Um, and let's do one last one, Curse of Strahd, which I will also show um, as a world as well. So while it's downloading 
and converting your substrat. We'll explore really quickly um, the uh, basic rules. So this one also has monsters. We have the Abolet, for example. You can see the layer description, layer actions, regional effects. Um, you can do a tentacle attack. Um, it's um, it's got even the cross reference to the heal spell. Um, it has everything for you. Uh, you can drag and drop, of course, to create your um, uh, your uh, tokens. Um, you can see the size of the dragon uh, is respecting um, uh, the size of token is respecting the size of the creature. Um, you have the mage, so you have your spells as well. Um, you can do a firebolt attack. So all the actors and spells are converted right there. And you can also access the spells individually right here from the items collection. You also have access to the races, so you can actually um, see all the races that are part of the uh, rules. Uh, same thing with the classes, and then you have your class features. Um, you have Oath of Devotion, Druid, they have all the uh, subclasses and the uh, um, like the the college for the bard or the uh, oath for the um, paladin and all that. So you get all that information available to you. Um, I don't have yet backgrounds or feats converted, but that's coming soon. And then here you have in the uh, journals you have all of your content. Uh, from the basic rules, so you can just browse. Uh, I will also be converting these tables so into roll tables, so that's coming uh, as well, but it's not there yet. You can also look at the um, monster stat blocks this way from the journal and actually get to open the actor at the same time uh, with this link and here the, the spells as well. So it's uh, rather complete, but also lacking some items um, but that's not too bad uh, that's coming uh, soon and that's why it's a beta um, let's open curse of trod now um, which is going to be a little bit more um, complex than the forge of fury but it's a it's a good uh, adventure to show so you have a lot more scenes right you have um, barovia you have uh, argen vosts argen vost halt um, there are no walls yet, uh, no lighting information. Uh, we will be adding that um, at some point, um, but it's not yet available. Um, you have your um, your maps, your scenes are not yet uh, aligned on the grid, as you can see here with this uh, token, right? So that's also work that needs to be done. Um, you have the Strahd, you have the, the campaign specific monsters. There's no spells that are specific to this campaign. Um, but then you have your, um, your uh, books, uh, your journal entries um, that tells you all about um, the world of Barovia. Uh, so that's it. Um, that's the feature. Uh, as you can see, the the really interesting part in it, um, as is our signature move here at the Forge, is the ability for you to um, very quickly, just basically one click, and you can import an adventure as long as you have bought it on d, &D Beyond, of course. Uh, if you don't have access to that content on d, &D Beyond, then it would tell you that you don't have access to it and will prompt you to buy it from the d, &D Beyond marketplace. Um, and it's the convenience, uh, like everything else we do at the Forge. It's very convenient and very easy for you to use. Um, and hopefully it will um, uh, fit all your needs. Um, at the moment, as I said, it's a beta. It's available to my patrons only. And uh, it, within the next few months, I'll be working on this to improve it, to try and uh, make it as complete as possible with uh, full adventure content, 
uh, including the wall information, the light, token positions, everything that you might expect from a ready-to-play adventure. Um, and um, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the demo, and I hope to see you soon on the Forge. Thank you.